world is changing, and it will never be the same. 20 years ago, the world looked pretty different than it does today. People would meet their friends for coffee and have a conversation, an actual conversation in which people talk to one another. We would sit and watch TV shows on a television set. There was no DVR, no streaming. We watched TV shows when they aired, with commercials, unless you were one of the select few who actually knew how to program your VCR. Today, the world's a different place. Conversations still take place, of course, but now those conversations often come with a character limit, several emojis, maybe even a selfie or two. Watching television has become a euphemism, like using a Kleenex or drinking a Coke. Today, watching television means streaming TV shows on any number of devices. A television set, a computer, a tablet, or a mobile phone. What a difference 20 years makes. Today, the average adult spends about six hours a day on a connected device. That's one hour more than last year. And about two of those six hours are spent on social media platforms like Facebook or YouTube. Those two hours a day amount to about five years of our lives that we spend on social media. We only spend three years of our lives eating and drinking. And that amount of time is only increasing. In fact, teenagers spend nine hours a day on social media alone. This has become our go-to place to connect to the world. We don't just use this simply for voice conversations anymore. Now we use it to consume media, to access news, and to interact with others. With this increase in connectivity, we have an entire world of information at our fingertips. To make sense of it all, we've trained ourselves to consume information in snackable quantities and to make decisions in an instant. We no longer read articles. We read headlines. We no longer give opinions. We give likes. For better or worse, this is our reality. So how do we as marketers adapt to this new digital world? We haven't seen a need for such drastic change since the advent of the television in the 1950s, when consumers shifted their focus from radio to TV, marketers not only had to move to this new medium, but they had to learn an entirely new way to communicate. We are in the midst of a similar paradigm shift. Attention is now more valuable than ever before. We live in a world where people now make major life decisions by swiping left or right on their phones. <laughs> what this means is that we as marketers have less than three seconds to capture consumers' attention in an attempt to develop a relationship with them. Less than three seconds for them to decide thumbs up or thumbs down. What this tells me is that most of you will probably not be able to sit through my entire presentation without checking your phones. In order to survive in this new world, the way that marketers communicate with consumers must fundamentally change. 
we have to learn to engage and entertain almost instantaneously. Some brands are successfully adapting. Netflix, for example, recently changed from a traditional five-star rating system to a simple thumbs up or thumbs down, which they found increased their ratings responses by 200%. As another example, Geico's recent ad campaign, which aired before online videos, provided a humorous scenario and often consolidated the key message to a single word, savings. This changing consumer landscape is coupled with a digital industry that is constantly evolving, which poses some challenges for marketers that we have never experienced before. Social media platforms like Snapchat and Instagram are changing day by day. So, brands must learn to move quickly. They must learn to move at the speed of social. To affect change in these organizations, students also need to learn to navigate the waters in this ever-changing world in which people are always connected. Connected to each other, to devices, and to brands. This is why I've developed classes that strive to teach digital through a forward-looking lens. Instead of simply teaching students the tactics that have worked in the past, I'm teaching them to develop and implement strategies across the digital ecosystem in an effort to drive business objectives. With this is the recognition that digital is not just a category of marketing. Digital is marketing. As an example, students participate in something I call the Facebook Takeover Challenge. As part of this experience, they create a social media ad campaign around what makes McIntyre special. They're given business objectives, they actually create content, and then they use Facebook's tools to target the content and measure the performance of the paid campaign. And we are putting all of these learnings into context by introducing students to the people and organizations that are driving innovation and change. On my recent class trip to London, we introduced students to two digital influencers, Nikki and Sammy, who've developed a large and captive audience on YouTube, which has allowed them to interview A-list celebrities like Daniel Radcliffe and world leaders like the former head of the Labour Party in the UK, Ed Miliband. Nikki and Sammy spoke to us about how their influence allows them to positively impact society and how they're partnering with brands that align with their vision. The world is changing and it will never be the same. So we are working as hard and as fast as we can to create curriculum in response to this changing consumer environment and fast-paced digital industry. As we continue to design educational experiences that reflect this new digital world, the only constant is constant change. So my students are learning to be nimble. Because in this dynamic environment, what works today will not work tomorrow. Thank you.